Hi guys! So the art that we are going to do today is a very 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 unique art because we are going to use three and more techniques in just one art. Okay, so I'm going to make this as easy as possible for you guys to understand and incorporate. So to do this art today, we are going to use a loofah like this. We all have one of these uh, in our bathrooms. Uh, I'm also going to use some bubble wrapping sheets. We are also going to use finger painting technique today. So obviously here are some colors that we are going to use for, the, for those. I've got some paint brushes here. I've got some cello tape uh, and a double sided tape here. So uh, and I've also got some paper plates in case if you don't have uh, color palettes you can just use uh, these paper plates instead and I do have a scissor so and also a marker pen so this is all we are going to need to do today's art so what are we guys waiting for let's get started okay so first thing first and I'm gonna make a tree first and to make that tree I'm gonna use this broad brush and some brown paint it's right here so I'm just gonna make the branches of the tree branch out of here, here and everywhere. Let me just color this tree trunk right here. I'm just, you know, making some thick branches up here from which really these thin branches are branching out. So these thick branches are as important as these thin branches right here. So guys, I have made my tree. It's a really, really simple design. You can also 
uh, do some highlighting work on this tree with the some black color so I'm just gonna use some black color just to you know make some Just like this, you can just give the, give your tree a little, you know, edginess. And I'm not just going to do any more of that. And that's it. I'm satisfied with my tree. Now, guys, I'm going to take some paper plate right here. And I'm gonna use some green color so And I'm just going to dip my loofah loofa into this green color right here. Just dab it two, three times on a rough sheet like this. And I'm just going to And just like that, I am done making my tree. Wasn't it super easy and super amazing? See the kind of effect it gave my tree here. So I'm just going to touch up my branches again. Even if you don't, you know, it uh, just looks like that uh, your tree is so dense that it has covered up all its branches uh, behind it and you know you can just uh, see a little little glimpse of the branches here and there so I'm just going to you know I'm not gonna do much but I'm just gonna touch up here and there so that you know some of the branches do appear see and I'm done wasn't this super easy and super amazing guys now the next thing that I'm gonna do is 
I am going to draw a bee house right here. So I'm going to draw a B house right here and I'm going to cut it with the help of a scissor like this. And here we go guys, I've got a nice honeycomb right here and now I'm going to paint it with some yellow and brown color. So guys, there are two ways of doing it, you can just... Uh, Keep a rough paper here and color it first and then stick it or you can just uh, or you can simply uh, paste it first and then color it. The choice is completely yours. So I think I'm gonna stick it first and then I'm going to color it. So here I'm taking a simple cello tape. You can also use a double sided tape if you don't uh, have double sided tape. You can just use a simple cello tape like this. You can just fold it doubly like this. You can just make a loop out of your cello tape and just stick it like this. I'm just gonna use one more. Just stick it like this onto your page and then you can just color it with some yellow and brown color. So I'm just going to color it with some yellow and brown color
this gives a you know real embossing effect to your whole art and I kind of like it so you can just you know give a touch of brown on each of the dots here And I am done. Now guys, we are going to make some honeybees with our thumbs. And so for that, I am using another paper plate here. And I'm going to use some brown color. And I'm also going to use some white color so let me just use the brown first there you go I am done with the brown color and make sure that you wash your hands properly before moving on to any other color so now I will use white color And so with my this finger I'm just dipping this finger in white color and I'm just going to put it right here 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 and here then again here 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 and here here and here And just like this, I have finished making my bees as well. So, not finished, but at least I'm done with my finger painting. And now I'm just going to use some black color to highlight my bees here.
and I've made my first V. Second one, And here goes my third one. So guys, basically we are just repeating the whole process of making bees.
and I am done making my bees. And once again, we will take our loofah and we are going to make some grass right here. done so guys do let me know what do you think of this painting and do try this at home this one is a really cool one so bye bye guys and see you in my next video bye bye